So hi, Steve Eisenberg in Miami here. So firstly, thank you, Jody and Stacy, for giving me this opportunity of sharing um, a few ideas about uh, on uh, Yom Hazikaron. So I want everyone to stop in your own homes, apartments, and answer this question. Who here has been to Tel Aviv? Haifa, Golan Heights, the Galil, the Negev, Yushalayim, Hebron, Ashdod, Netanya, etc., etc. And I believe if we visited those beautiful, amazing places, it's because at any given moment we have hundreds of thousands of young people on the land, in the air, and the seas, and all over the world securing information to make sure that we call Medina Israel is secure. You know, growing up in America, you know, my biggest challenge in high school, college years was what? Did I go to the Hamptons for the weekend, Fire Island, go to Deal? But the young people in Eretz Israel are risking their lives every day so that we should be able to have this amazing land called Eretz Israel and Hashem, of course. I suspect there are very few people listening to me right now who grew up in a world without the state of Israel, right? Most of us were all born after 1948. So it's really inconceivable for us to even imagine a world without Eretz Israel. And that wasn't the case until 1948. And we take it for granted. You know, many of you know I've led maybe 19 birth rate trips, maybe another 10, 15 other type trips to Israel. And I always begin my trips and I said, guys, this is a miracle. This is absolutely a miracle that we have the land of our own. We're now almost the majority of the Jew world, world Jewry is in the land of Israel. And it's only because that we have our soldiers who are risking their lives daily and who've given up their lives the last 70, 80 years. So Yom Zikron, we remember the loss, the devastation to families, young people who never had a shot at life. So we say to them, thank you. We say thank you to the soldiers who gave up their lives. We say to the soldiers who risked their lives. You know, I live in America and I love America. And I love Miami. And I know in the back of my mind, the right time I too will get to Eretz Israel. And I believe as we live freely outside of Israel, it's because we know we have the state of Israel to go back to. And we have the land to go back to because we have our holy soldiers. And with that, just everyone should have really a new set of eyes to appreciate our soldiers. And when you walk down the streets, say thank you. Todalachem, todalacha, todalach. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you can't say thank you, the people who are risking their lives for you, then who can say thank you to? And for those who gave up their lives over these decades and decades of wars, is the greatest thing we could do for them, I believe, is the contributions we can make the Jewish people in the state of Israel. Thank you very much. Chag Sameach. After Yom Zikron, Jewish life's all about that. We have tragedy and then we dance. We break a glass at a wedding, right? Remember the past and then we, we dance at the wedding. So we have Yom Zikron, Yom Atzmaot, and we should be deeply appreciative of the contributions and the, and the sacrifice our soldiers have made. Thank you very much.